hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video tutorial I will explain how to create and consume the rest framework to display records on a drop down list which is a select option element in Django Python web tutorials and here we got the final output notice the header section how to create and call rest framework Display data into DDL from MySQL PHP my admin database. Below that, we got the drop down list, which is a select option which contains the C names, the country names. This API will be consumed in this drop down list. And this data we are getting from this database PHP my admin MySQL database. That's it. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before creating a new Django web application, first we will check the table in MySQL which is PHP MyAdmin database. The table name is a country which contains two columns, CID and CNAME, the country name. The CID column is an auto-generate column, is a primary key and CNAME is a country name which contains some country names. Now my aim is first I will create a, a API REST framework then we will call that API to display this column name C name into a drop down list. So first let's create a new Django web application. Before creating a Django web application first we require one new folder. So I am creating a new folder in this E drive. I click the mouse, click new and select folder and the folder name is Django REST DDI drop down list. Let's browse this folder. Right now, this folder is totally empty. Now, we'll create a new Django web application in this folder. I'm using Visual Studio Code to create a Django web application, but before that, we'll add our the folder which we have created in the E drive. For that, Go to file then select open folder and the folder i have created in the e drive the folder name is a django rest ddl i have selected that one then click the button select folder and here the folder is successfully added to our visual studio explorer at the right side we got the welcome page let's close this welcome page i will create a new django web application in this folder for that go to view and select terminal in this terminal which is nothing but a powershell or command prompt so and also if you notice the path is the e drive and django rest ddl which is our the folder name so we'll create the application in this folder django iphone admin start project the project name is rest ddl and rest ddl is my application name and here the rest ddl application is successfully created let me expand this application if you notice in this application contains one folder with the same application name and one manage.py let me expand this subfolder also and in the subfolder contains some python files settings.py urls.py all these files and folders has been created automatically when i create this project rest ddl so after creating the project, next step will add the models page to our subfolder of our application. Selecting the subfolder of our application, right click the mouse, click new file. The file name is a models.py. And here we got the models.py. And this models page contains a properties and class, just like it's a POCO class. So before adding the properties to this models class, First, we'll import the models class from django.db import. Let's add the models. After that, let's define a class. The class name is um, country model. Country model. And this model contains the models.model. And it's capital here. After that, let's create a properties if you notice in our country table we got two columns cid and cnm the cid is a primary column so let's define cid is equals to morals dot 
इंटीजर फील्ड प्रॉपर्टीज नाटा क्लास टू डिफाइन आउट टेबल db underscore table is equals to between single quotes our table name is country table copy that one and paste here that's it let's save this file save r after creating the model space now we require the serialization class page also again right click the subfolder click new file the file name is a serialization.py Now in the serialization that we have contains all the models and fields from this model space. So before that, let's import the necessary classes from Django dot REST framework from REST framework import serializers. After that, we'll import the models also from our models file is inside our. Folder as DDL our application folder name dot models import our model name is a model class name is a country model class name country model then now let's define a serialized class define class country serialize and uh, serializers dot Model serializer, model serializer. Colon. The serializers we have different types of serializers, but mostly we use model serializer here. Mm -hmm. Then let's define that. The class is a meta class. This meta class, the metadata we are getting the model is equals to model is a country model. Our class name. And the fields is equals to I'm defining underscore underscore all. That's it. Let's save this file also. Save all. Now we require the views page. And again, I right click the subfolder of our project, click the new file, and then add the views of py enter. And here in the views of py. Contains the actual logic to create the API, the REST framework, and will consume the REST framework in this views page only. But before that, we'll import the necessary classes. From first, we'll import the models class. So REST DDL dot models import country model. This is our class name of the model. Again. We require from REST DDL. We require the serializers also. Serialization. This file name import country serialize. After that, let's define the function and show countries. Show country is my function name. Request colon. If request dot method double equals to get colon mm, the methods we are getting from this country model. So mm, let's define first country object is an object is equals to country model. This class name dot objects dot all method. After that, we require the serial object also. Serialize object of DJ is equals to serialize country serialize the kind of serialize class contains the country object comma many is equals to true. Then this function return response 
on to response so we require one more class also from rest framework dot response import response or this capital here now require the written response that that our capital response here the response takes this serial object copy that one and paste here dot data property we don't require is equal to that's it now the most important to implement the rest framework for this function in Django applications we use the function base and class base rest framework here I'm using the function base so let's de decorate with the ap underscore view class from rest underscore framework dot decorators import api underscore view i'm decorating with api underscore view um, single quotes get that's it let's save this file save all now we require to configure the urls also the path we need to import views then path single quotes comma views dot uh, and the views dot i am adding show content copy this one and paste here that's it let's save this file also what i'll do is we'll add uh, the name also show con uh, country the web url name and the name is equals to between double quotes i'm adding my function name show country now let's save this file save all now we need to configure the settings also in the settings of py the first we need to import the applications between single calls first rest underscore framework comma then we require the rest ddl the application our project name after adding these two apps in this application section come to the bottom notice in the databases the default database is sql library but we are using here my sql php my admin so let's add my sql and here the name let's delete this default code uh, between single quotes let's add our database name our database name is uh, line database yeah. the country table i have created in the line database so let's add that one lion the single quotes user We'll add our credentials root the username is root and the password here I'm leaving the password blank because I don't have any password to log into my PHP my admin database if you have any password please enter that one here after that we require the a host also host is a local host and we require the port number also port number of my sql we want to check the port number of my sql which is double three zero eight it might be double three zero six in some missions double three zero six double three zero eight here for me double three zero eight add the comma here then the last one is the options column init underscore command column between double quotes and setting the sql mode is equals to single quotes in the single quotes i'm adding strict underscore trans underscore tables that's it let's save this file save all and now we'll run this application come to the terminal in the PowerShell before run the server first we need to uh, add our project to the path cd change directory that's ddl after adding the path after adding the now we'll run the server python man 
python manage.py run server enter see after run the server we don't have any issues let's run the server control plus mouse click and here we got the default page it's showing the page not found because if we check here in the urls we have given the api name is a country uh, country and here we got the output of the get api that's framework api the country details cld cname cld and cname now the next step will consume this api to display records in a drop down list the india us and Australia, the country names so again switch back to the coding part go to views in the views only i am adding the poll uh, i am adding the um, another function to display country which contains a request column and here before adding the functionality to call this api here first we'll add one new folder in our application right click the subfolder right click the main folder application new folder um, the folder name is a templates now in this templates i will add my html pages i click the templates folder right click the mount right click click new file index.html so after adding the index.html to our application again switch back to the views now here we need to import the render class first from django.shortcuts import render so when we want to render our html templates we need the we need to import this render class after that uh, let's define the object to call the api to request the api call country is equals to we require the request method so we require we need to import the requesters in this requesters requesters got get method like in single quotes i'm adding our api name copy that one case here then the result is an object call country dot json method after that we'll add a return render request I'm requesting the template index dot i is capital index dot html comma i'm adding the dictionary here the dictionary contains key and values here the key is our country model the country model contains our properties and the results we are getting from here that's it let's save this file after that open settings.py in the settings.py in the template section under directories i am joining the templates with the our base directory so os.path.join method base directory i am i'm joining with the base directory comma templates a folder name i'm adding here that's it let's save this file now the final step to display records in this html page so again doc type let's close the html in the html contains the headers in the headers i'm adding the title display uh, consume and call consume and call rest api rest framework after the body after the header i'm adding the body then i'm adding the center tag inside the body tags 
h1 how to create and call uh, call rest framework display data into drop down list from from my sql php my admin after the headers i am adding the horizontal line then i am adding the select option element which is our drop down list control select here uh, in the select i am adding um, options option in the option selected disabled is equals to true select 100 again i am adding the option in this option between double curly brackets which is an expression mm. Percentage, percentage to fetch the records i'm using for loop for um, data is an object in we are getting the data from this model from this country model copy this one and the pressure let's close the for loop and for so in this expression data dot i'm adding c name my column name i'm adding c name here yeah. that's it let's save this file save all after saving this file we'll run the server again python manage.py run server let's run this uh, we need to configure the errors we forgot that one sorry that no path between double quotes use dot uh, display country copy that one and paste here that's it let's save this file again save all yes we need to add comma here save all that's it let's run this server control plus mouse click and here we got the final output notice the header section how to create and call rest framework display data into ddl from mysql php my admin database below that we got the drop down list which is a select option which contains the c names the country names this api we consumed in this drop down list this data we are getting from this database, PHP, MySQL database. That's it.